Hi, this Getting Started project will introduce you to the basics, ask you to apply what you've learned, and help you begin creating your own videos right away. First, we'll make a recording by clicking this red button in the main interface, and in the recorder, even though there's lots of options here, we'll just choose full screen and microphone audio by making sure these two buttons are green. Later, you can learn much more about recording by right-clicking on the recorder and choosing Recorder Tutorials. But for now, when you're ready to start, click Record. Camtasia will minimize, and you'll get a countdown. When that's complete, you can start your demo, explanation, or whatever with narration. Camtasia will record it all. When you're done, click the red icon in the menu bar and choose Stop Recording. Camtasia will place your recording in the media bin over here with the other video, audio, and images in your project. I'll show you how to add it to your video later. In the future, when you start with your own project, the first recording will also be added straight to the area here called the timeline. All right, it's your turn. Go ahead and click this button to pause the video and make a simple recording. When you're done, click play to start this video again. If you need to review part of the project or you end up in the wrong spot after making an edit, use the playhead, that's this triangle with a line, to scrub through the video and find the right spot. Look for the visual cues that mark each section. Don't worry about messing up this project. You can always restore it by going to Help, Getting Started Project. Okay, now would also be a good time to save your project, however you started it. At this point, even without editing, your video might be good enough to share with others. To do this, you go up to the Share menu and select your preferred output. Let's choose Export, which will give you an MP4 video file. This is great for viewing on most any device. Give your video a name and choose Export. Camtasia will export it, then give you a button to view it in Finder, where you can open it by double-clicking. This particular project might take a few minutes to export, so we'll hold off on trying that out now. As I mentioned, you could stop here and have a complete video. However, Camtasia also provides you with a fully featured editor to help you improve your screencasts. Let's go through some of the basics of editing that will help you clean up your recording and zoom into parts that are most important. There are several ways to remove mistakes from a recording or any media in a project. We'll cover two of them here. Let's start with trimming the edges of media, since that's simplest. On the timeline, where you'll arrange your clips and do most of the editing in your video, just mouse over the edge of a clip and notice how the cursor changes to an arrow, and then click and drag. You can also use this technique to resize the length of a media, including annotations. Your turn. Hit pause and use trimming to remove this cough from the recording. <coughs> Click play when you're ready to continue. If you've trimmed that cough out, you'll notice it left a blank spot in the video. So I'll show you another way to remove a segment of media that closes the gap. Just place your cursor right before the part you want to remove, hold the shift key, then click and drag to make a selection. You can also drag up or down to include clips on multiple tracks. After you let go, you can also adjust the edges of the selection. Then, right-click and choose Ripple Delete Range. To have everything to the right on those tracks, shift in to fill the gap. Click pause and try it for yourself by removing um, the two ums in um, this section. Click play again when you've done that. You can find more tutorials about working and editing on the timeline by right-clicking in an empty spot and choosing Timeline Tutorials. Now, earlier, I mentioned that you could add your recordings, as well as audio and images, to your screencast. You can do this by going to the Media Bin and dragging the item to the canvas, which is this big section here where you're previewing this Getting Started project. Or you can drag it to the timeline. In this case, drag the Audio Great clip to the timeline here. Pause the video until you've done that. Finally, let me show you how to make details, like text, more crisp and legible by using zoom animations. Let's take this area, for example, 
If I'm talking about it in my screencast, I should zoom in there so the viewers can read the text. And so everything else currently showing doesn't distract them from what's important. To add a zoom animation, go to the Animations tab and drag the Zoom In animation to the recording you want to zoom in on. It will be represented by an arrow on the media clip. Then in the canvas, drag your video until the correct area is showing. You can also change when the animation starts or ends and how long it lasts by dragging the middle or the dots at each end of the arrow. Click pause now and zoom in on this part of the screen for me. Then click play again. Excellent. Now pause and drag the zoom out animation to some place later in the clip to see what that does. Notice how it scaled the video to fit everything in the canvas? That's great for giving viewers a larger context. All right, after you practice the basics, be sure to check out the tutorial viewer to learn even more. Go to the help menu and choose tutorial viewer. Take a bit of time to explore the different videos, articles, and the Camtasia course. These will be invaluable in helping you create excellent videos that communicate and teach. Now try creating your own project. To start, go here to the file menu and choose new project. Thanks, and happy screencasting!